Perfect. So, hi, Emily. I'm Ashley with Avenica. It's nice to meet you. Hi, Ashley. My name's Emily. It's nice to meet you, too. Awesome. Well, it's interesting meeting virtually this year, but I'm glad we're still finding a way to connect with each other. How's it been for you with your semester being online and kind of starting remote this year? Yeah, for sure. It's definitely been a little different. It's kind of hard finding spaces to study on campus, but it's it's going well. It's going well. <laughs> I hear you there. It's been an interesting shift work from home, finding spaces to do that too. We have a puppy at home and we're two of us working from home there. So I totally get trying to find your own space. Yeah, so for sure. Tell me a little bit about yourself. What are you studying at the U? Tell me a little bit about you. Yeah, so I'm majoring in political science and Spanish studies and I'm an incoming third year. So I'm planning to graduate in May of 2022. I have some experience doing campaign finance work and campaign field work. And post-graduation, I hope to run for public office or maybe manage a campaign. Okay, very cool. I like that. You've had some experience already doing what you want to do, which is awesome. I'm, I'm actually a CLA alumni myself. Uh, I graduated oh, wow. from the U and College of Liberal Arts, too. Oh, awesome. What was your major? Yeah, I majored in communication studies while I was at the U. So it was a really broad, awesome program. Oh, that's super cool. Did you go straight from CLA to Avenica? Um, I didn't. I actually had another job for about a year and a half between graduation and Avenica. I worked as an event coordinator and wedding planner for a year there and um, really loved it. I gained a ton of great transferable skills that I'm sure you have from your experiences as well and then came to Avenica after that um, actually as a student just like you looking for oh, wow. my next path uh, in my career. Oh wow yeah that's really awesome. Yeah. yeah, so I came here today because I'm really interested in finding an opportunity that's client facing after graduation. I enjoy creating detailed reports and working with people. Both are things I've had a little bit of experience with my position at CLA Career Services. In my research before the event, I noticed that Avenica has a few opportunities that might fit my interests and experience. I also learned that Avenica provides a lot of career support to recent graduates, which is something that's really important to me. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We actually right now have a client support coordinator position open that I think actually could be a really good fit for your skills and background. It needs someone who could be client facing and have really great communication skills, but also use that attention to detail that you were talking about. Someone who's organized and can be a good planner as well. Oh, perfect. That sounds really interesting. Do you know where I could find more information about this position? Yeah, absolutely. So if you go on Avenica's website, it'll have all of our open job positions for both the Twin Cities area, but nationwide too. And then if you want to connect on LinkedIn, we can also talk a little bit more about it there as well. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. I'd love to connect on LinkedIn. Perfect. Yeah. If you want to send me a message with your name, a little bit about um, what your interests are long term, and then we can exchange contact information so I can get your resume. That would be super important. That could be a great way for us to follow up for next steps too. Okay. Awesome. Yes, I'll definitely do that. But it's been so great meeting you today, Ashley. Absolutely. It was awesome to meet you too, Emily. So we're going to keep recording. This can kind of be like a little time to debrief. So that's exactly the word that I was looking for. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like, how did you feel? How did the two of you feel uh, having the conversation? I felt like it was really natural, just like it would be in the in-person career fair. I think getting to know each other and her being ready to talk about what she was interested in, what skills she wanted to use, really kept the door open to a lot of different experiences. Yeah, it felt really natural for me too. Very conversational, which is usually what I see at career fairs. And it was awesome that Ashley gave some personal experiences and kind of explained her path from graduation to Avenica, which was nice. And, and based partly on how this conversation went and, 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 and how we're planning for the fall, Ashley, do you have additional tips for students who might be in Emily's position as they're getting ready for these kinds of conversations at the fair? Yeah, I think um, kind of traditional like video etiquette is important. So like Emily is clearly in a space where she is by herself. She won't be interrupted. Um, she still looks professional and polished, which is super important. But then she's also just ready to have a conversation about her background. She did a lot of research ahead of time on Avenica and the types of roles that we offer and services that we offer. So it made it easier for me to give her more information about things that were relevant to her versus like kind of taking a shot in the dark on what she might want to learn more about. 
And then um, Emily, having gone through this, both on this practice call, but also in previous career fairs, what would you tell fellow students who might be in your position, might be feeling nervous about either just going to a career fair or going to a virtual career fair? Sure. I think my biggest piece of advice is to just prepare before. Do your research, bring notes in like a pad folio, and it's always good to have a set of questions for the employer. Um, my, set, my question that I always go to if there's a lull in the conversation is, where have you seen past interns thrive? Where have you seen past interns struggle? Um, it's just kind of interesting to hear their input. Well, thank you both for, for agreeing to, to show how this is going to happen. No, this is fun. I love it. This is awesome. Yeah. Thank you guys for thinking of me and including me.